Welcome back, ladies and gents, to another Apex Legends mobile video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new patch notes that just released a few moments ago. Starting it off, then the seasonal shop, we have the diamond currency drops from enemies and foes and loot crates. We've got a new limited time mode, shotguns and snipers only in armed and dangerous. Now, this is a game mode that we've seen previously in the past where it is going to be absolutely amazing to be able to get our hands on this again. But taking it back to the diamond currency then. So, so far we had the fade currency within season one, but now it's going to be the diamond currency, which will allow you to unlock the frozen skins, which we will be seeing very, very soon once the update drop. We have the new legend. It is now here. Loba enters the game. We're all fully aware of this i've made about 10 videos on it already but anyways it's there in black and white for you we've got the brand new icy gold battle pass as well included we don't know exactly what's in it there are a couple of leaks out there but again i'm not going to be showing that until it's officially confirmed itself and then finally we have the climatizer town takeover so snow falls on parts of the map freezing loot crates and spawning unique rewards now let's take a look at the full patch notes itself so here we have it apex legends mobile cold snap patch notes incoming transmission from the dev team greeting legends with the release of cold snap we wanted to take a moment to reflect on and celebrate the launch of apex legends mobile and give you an update from the development team First of all, we want to thank everyone that's joined us on the launch. We are so humbled and grateful for the community's response to Apex Legends Mobile. We're blown away by the passion and creativity of the community. We're excited to iterate on the game with you. Prime time was just the beginning. We really appreciate you all being vocal and sharing your feedback with us. This is how we'll continue to make the game better. With your continued feedback, be it good or critical. Some of the things we've heard from the community as urgent fixes frustrations around the rank system how bands are handled in normal matches matchmaking optimizations performance optimizations and devices and servers fantastic ea i love it there you go guys i told you they were listening don't doubt me <laughs> while we're not responding to every thread that's out there we are listening to the community and taking in in the feedback much of the feedback we've received is either currently being addressed by the team or we have plans for it in the near future. We're continually checking our data to evaluate the game's health and performance. And we'll be relying on this as well as the community's feedback as we collectively build on the game together. Notably, we've been making some adjustments to our matchmaking and systems that impact servers. Our goal with Apex Legends Mobile is to facilitate a highly competitive mobile experience. This is a space where we'll continue to iterate with a key focus on low latency. So you're playing with players that have similar experience on their device and matchmaking with players of similar skill sets. Regarding the topic of bots, yes, the dev team does see value in employing bots in various parts of the game. However, our main goal is to provide a competitive gaming experience for our players above all else. Exposure to bots should diminish as you play more and increase your skill level yes we'll continue to to accesses uh, sorry we'll continue to access and iterate on our matchmaking over the upcoming seasons please continue to share your thoughts we are eager to share more of what's coming for apex legends mobile when we're ready keep an eye out for our official communication channels and you'll be the first to know thank you so much for your continued support of apex legends mobile we'll see you on the dropship uh, love the dev team and now back to our regular schedule scheduled program in legends welcome to the cold snap in this update we'll be releasing a fan favorite loba woohoo booty a limited time game mode and brand new skins and cosmetics for maximum icy cold drip ready let's get frosty so here is loba ladies and gents confirmed and here's climatizer in the background as you can see the view distance as well it's a bit foggy and cloudy and it is going to be harder to see see enemies when Loba was nine, she look, looked as a, no idea what this word is, Hitman Revenant killed her family, left her with nothing. Loba survived by picking pockets. Bloody, 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 blah. I'm not going to read this for you guys. Anyways, I've already explained her abilities, but you can read them here. Just pause the video. Legend progression. Play Loba and lo unlock her unique legend progression perks to steal the win from the competition. You can find Loba in the shop or at level 25 of the battle pass. Some of Loba's perks include the ability to gain extra loot from crates and even steal her squad mates' banners. <laughs> Yo, Apex Legends PC and console players are going to be a bit uh, 
uh, rattle there. But anyways, hop into the game to explore everything. Loba and her perks to ha to offer. Again, new limited time mode. We've already explained this. The town takeover climatizer. We've explained this, guys. And of course, we've explained the snow grenades as well. But remember that there's going to be rewards in these crates as well. So keep an eye out for those. The seasonal shop. First look at the seasonal shop. Here we have it. As we can see, we got a 301 below zero skin. We got an RE45. We got a banner. We got a sentinel as well. Some charms. And of course, we can't really see much more in there. First look at the battle pass. Look at that octane skin. Oh my lord. That looks amazing. Wait, is that? What is that? Is that a new Kraber skin? And a Bloodhound skin? They look phenomenal. Can't wait to see those. Battle pass changes. So, again, after feedback, they're going to be adding an extra 50 Syndicate gold and one extra Syndicate pack within the, uh, the battle pass. This means that if you buy a battle pass, you earn 800 Syndicate gold in total by the end of the battle pass. Meaning, you can buy the next battle pass next season for absolutely free. These rewards will be provided following the launch of the code snap and will be sent via the game mailbox. So be on the lookout for these rewards here. Also, starting from the launch of season, 800 Syndicate Code will be provided with the completion of season one premium or premium plus battle pass. Bugs and fixes. Let's go, baby. Optimized race base visuals. Fantastic. Fixed an issue where players were unable to adjust the auto ammo pickup settings for the peacekeeper. Okay. I, oh, okay. I see what they mean here. Adjusted several replicator spawn locations. So we might see a little bit more of a variation of where they are. Fix several spots on World's Edge where players would be get stuck or blocked on the terrain. Brilliant. Fixed an issue where Mirage players would experience lag when taking out a weapon after activating their ultimate ability. Fix the slowdown effect of Fade's ultimate ability if he has left the game. Amazing. Fix Octane's incorrect VO callouts when using his jump pad. Yes! For more information on Apex Legends Mobile, visit blah, 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 blah. But anyways, ladies and gents, that is it. We have had some amazing patch notes today. Massive thank you to EA employees, dev team, and all of the employees working around the globe on this game. Big love to you guys. And I'm excited because tomorrow, I'm not going to say anything, but keep a lookout on my channel. Something big is coming tomorrow. So drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon. Peace out.